Alrighty guys, so this is of course the Star Wars Deluxe Blaster and while it looks really cool and is very close to the movie, I felt like it needed a serious performance upgrade. Like don't get me wrong, really neat blaster, just not so uh, great performance wise like all of these Star Wars blasters seems to be and so I wanted to bring it uh, up to speed. So tons of Phillips head screws on it, but once you get all of those off, you can butterfly it like so, it becomes quickly apparent that this is a strife inside. We have the stock comes out as its own uh, piece. Interesting to note that the stock does hold magazines. I did not point that out in my review. I kind of knew it, I just didn't say it. Nobody's perfect or nobody's nerfic. Now, as we take a look inside here, you can see that this is a miniature control board for some of our LED stuff going on. We've automatically got some locks in here that we're going to want to handle. So let's get at uh, our trigger here, remove this, set it aside, and this entire piece here can go. This is serving no purpose. There's a mechanical and probably an electronic lock in here as well. But we are aiming to just streamline this process. We'll be doing a full motor replacement, but you can see that this is not a particularly complicated blaster inside. So this and this are gonna be garbage. This, uh, I believe, is going to need to be made permanently open. Should be able to do this without taking too terribly much out. So, eh, we'll go all the way. This is, of course, the pusher for the darts, it's mechanical in nature. We'll set that aside. Up here you can see we've got kind of a loom to hold our speaker system in and then something else to hold the entirety of the blaster in place. This is our jam door lock down here. We're gonna wanna remove that too. That's an electronic lock. Yuck. Let's get rid of that. And in order to get at all of these locks, we're gonna have to take everything out here. So this switch back here is probably what activates the light and sound when the trigger is pulled. This switch down here is just hot garbage. So let's remove that as well. Hopefully the 4K is making this really easy to understand. If it is, uh, I would appreciate if you liked the video, the 4K uh, is a real pain to edit and render in. So help me help you help us. Then we'll go ahead and remove our flywheel cage here. I'm not sure if this whole barrel is gonna come off nicely. It looks like it doesn't want to, probably because of the LEDs inside. So let's remove our entire flywheel cage. Here and here. Now we could MOSFET this if we really wanted to and make sure that we preserve all of those fun lights and sounds, but instead I think that we're just gonna streamline them similar to what I did in my Sith build. So these are just LEDs and LED leads. If we come over here, we have some snips, not the snips I wanna use, but snips nonetheless. We can cut there. And there, we're just trying to relinquish this anode cathode, and our cage is free. Now, as I've explained multiple times, these are not particularly good motors, and all of these uh, rubber flaps and such can, can go. So we can rip all of this out. And that's going to go in our garbage pile, which is down here. And then tease this cage open now that it's been unscrewed. Pop these two tabs open like so. I just hate that this is floating around in here. It's not really gonna impact anything. It just bugs me. All right, now let's go ahead and crack these flywheels off of their spindles. I like to come in from two separate angles so as not to put a lot of stress on either the cage or the, the flywheels. Pop that one off. Pop this one off now. Hasbro's been kind of mixed recently in whether or not they solder in their motors. 
It looks like they've glued this one in pretty good. So this is going to be a real pain. We'll probably have to tap it out from the other end. But uh, we will be replacing in this build with, I think, probably some uh, honey badger motors. So let's come into our storage room, all full of equipment. And while these are not the ideal motors necessarily, they will get the job done. So there's our Aussie two spec motors good to go all right i'm gonna go ahead and restitch this up and i'll just show you what it looks like when it's done if you need help with uh flywheels or soldering or anything like that i've done a sanguine video and i've done a uh, sith video which is star wars themed and you could watch either of those they'll be in the end screen but uh modding youtube jump cut magic go Alrighty, guys so this is really simple these have been completely uh greased and redone our switch down here is now a 25 amp micro switch set in polysilicate that's pretty awesome stocks back in the accessory bit up here is back in and then all of the leds have been rewired back in and spliced into our main circuit and then everything's feeding through this one bit down here those leads are coming out and i've already tested the polarity everything else is uh done up with electrical tape but seems to be in good shape. All of the physical locks have been removed and it's still doing the blinky blinky lights. I did not add an LED switch because with these Star Wars blasters and their glow technology, I like for them just to glow while they're on and it's not like the LEDs are drawing an awful lot of current anyway. So that is that. All that we have to do now, put this back on, button it up, take it outside for a firing demo. Let's hope that we're finally up to snuff. Alrighty guys, so that was short, sweet, and simple. You can see here that the blaster has its UV tech still going on inside. Jam door slides open and closed and locks in both positions. This still articulates fully. The battery door is a little warped out, but I could easily change that with some reaming inside. Uh, very clicky response out of this. And of course, it's now like actually performing. So we have lights in here and up here. Let's go ahead rip this and stick it and then I uh, still need a name for this guy uh, let me know guys but uh we can fire and I'll show you that now we're getting actual like above elite performance out of our deluxe uh Star Wars blaster and that's nice I mean the the voice box got completely ripped out but for a deluxe blaster it deserved deluxe performance and now we have accomplished that <laughs> Those were all hits, definitely uh, very, very cool, very happy with this blaster. However, uh, I bought it to make a review for you guys. I made a mod guide on it for those who wanted to get more out of it, and I don't actually need it. I cosplay Rebel style, not uh, not Empire. So it will be on my eBay starting bit of 99 cents. Uh, keep in mind that the blaster itself costs 90 United States dollars, and it's going to be a mother to ship. But uh, that's what I'm going to start it off at. All I have to do is come down here. I'll give it a quick signature and it will be off on its way to whoever is so fortunate to to win it and give it a good home hopefully they they do some storm trooping at an hvz or something and maybe i'll get to see it again someday but that's my modification guide for the deluxe stormtrooper blaster and as always guys i hope that you really enjoyed the video much love nerf on drag out <laughs>